Who is Zazu? How he met Mufasa? Hello viewers. How are you? Welcome to Nibir Network. Today we will discuss all about Zazu. How he became a part of the royal family. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for future details. With that said, let's get back to our discussion topic. Zazu is a supporting character of Disney's 1994 animated feature film The Lion King. He is an uptight, red-billed hornbill that served as King Mufasa's major domo, and the begrudged caretaker of Simba. Zazu is charged with upholding order within the Pride Lands, though he is rarely taken seriously due to his diminutive size and fragile temper. Background Zazu has two conflicting histories as to how he became the king's major domo. In the book Friends in Need, young Zazu is about to be cooked and eaten by the three young hyenas, which explains his cry of oh, no. Not the birdie boiler, in the first movie, Shenzi, Bonsai, and Ed, when an adolescent Mufasa comes along, frightens off the hyenas and saves him. Zazu is thankful and hopes that he can be of service to the future Lion King someday. Mufasa is doubtful of this. Zazu follows Mufasa around and watches over him. Mufasa quickly gets tired of this as Zazu disturbs his hunts and his private time with his betrothed Surabi. One day, Zazu notices some vultures hovering. He asks Mufasa if he wants him to fly over and see what's happening, but Mufasa is not concerned and lies down for a nap. Zazu flies over to where the vultures are anyway, and sees that Surabi has fallen into a pit and can't get out. Zazu flies back to tell Mufasa who leaps up and runs to the gorge. But Mufasa can't find a way to rescue Surabi. Zazu finds a tree trunk that Mufasa drags over to the pit, allowing Surabi to climb out. Mufasa realizes that the little hornbill is useful after all of this, and appoints him as the royal advisor. In How True, Zazu, Zazu's mother, Zuzu, was a steward to Kopa's great-grandfather Ahadi. When Zazu was young, Zuzu trained him to take her place when Mufasa's rule began. Personality As the king's major domo, Zazu is knowledgeable, diplomatic, and stern. He takes his position as a royal advisor very seriously, and carries himself in a no-nonsense and oftentimes, pompous manner. Unfortunately, the demanding, and sometimes dangerous nature of his job has left Zazu with a considerable amount of anxiety and emotional instability, he is prone to falling into a panic when things go wrong, and he can be rather irritable and snappish. Because of his fragile temper and high opinion of himself, Zazu is not taken very seriously by the other characters, specifically Simba and Nala, who would often tease the major domo as children. Similarly, Scar saw Zazu as nothing more than a pest and repeatedly sought to torment the hornbill when given the chance. Even Mufasa has had his share of fun in teasing Zazu. Nevertheless, Zazu is undoubtedly loyal to the king and has proven his usefulness on numerous occasions. As the king's eyes and ears, Zazu knows all and tells all, especially when trouble arises. If not for Zazu, Simba and Nala would have very well met their demise at the jaws of the hyenas, as it was he who had informed Mufasa of the danger before things could take a turn for the worse. Zazu is also shown to have a sense of humor, as he was able to make a joke about turning Scar into a throw rug, to which he adds that Mufasa can take him out and beat him whenever he gets dirty. He also has a quirky habit of sliding blatant puns into his morning reports. Appearances In, The Lion King As King Mufasa's major domo and close friend, he is one of the few who calls Mufasa by his name, he is very serious and always sticks to the rules. He is first seen in the film during the opening sequence in which Simba is presented. He later confronts Scar on his absence from the ceremony and is almost eaten by him until Mufasa arrives. When Scar leaves, Zazu humorously suggests to Mufasa that Scar would make an excellent rug. When Simba has grown into a cub, Zazu is often ridiculed by him being the target in Simba's pouncing lessons. He is ordered to watch over Simba and Nala by Surabi when Simba claims he wants to go to the waterhole with Nala. In fact, Simba has earlier been lured by Scar to go to the elephant graveyard, and after the song I Just Can't Wait to Be King, Simba and Nala successfully lose Zazu and go to the graveyard. 
Zazu later catches up with them, but they encounter the three hyenas, Shenzi, Bonsai, and Ed. Zazu is inserted into the hyena's birdie boiler geyser which rockets him up to the sky. He manages to find Mufasa and lead him to the cubs, just in time to save them from the hyenas, although it is also implied shortly after the hyenas flee that Mufasa, in addition to being upset with Simba for deliberately disobeying him by going to the elephant graveyard, is also upset at Zazu for failing to keep watch on the cubs. Zazu is then ordered to take Nala home while Mufasa has a word with Simba. During the wildebeest stampede, engineered by Scar and his minions to kill both his brother and nephew, it is Zazu who leads Mufasa to Simba. As he watches the stampede, he wants to go back for help but is struck by Scar into a wall and rendered unconscious. After Simba runs away, Zazu is seen comforting Surabi when Scar informs the Pride that both Mufasa and Simba have been killed in the stampede. He and the Pride, are then seen watching in horror as Scar allows the hyenas into the Pride lands. Zazu also briefly appears years later, in a scene after Scar has assumed the kingship of the Pride lands. In this scene, Zazu is imprisoned and is being forced to entertain Scar by singing songs like Nobody knows the troubles I've seen and I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts, but not before briefly singing the lyrics of It's a Small World. When the hyenas come in to complain about the lack of food and water, Scar casually tells them to eat Zazu, although Scar also likely suggested to the hyenas that, they eat Zazu specifically as revenge for Zazu, earlier mentioning Scar's brother in a favorable light compared to Scar under his breath, and he frantically insists that he'd be so tough and gamey and Iug, although the hyenas ultimately decide not to eat him, unknowingly agreeing with Zazu about Mufasa being better. Later on, Simba returns to reclaim his throne. The lionesses, Taiman, Pumbat and Rafiki battle the hyenas while Simba battles his uncle. Zazu pleads Taiman to let him out of the ribcage he is imprisoned in but Taiman goes inside the ribcage instead as he is pursued by the hyenas. Pumba comes to the rescue and chases away the hyenas after Bonsai inadvertently insults him. Zazu is freed along with Taiman and joins the two in chasing them away and doing a victory yell. Later, Zazu is seen at Simba's ascension to the throne and during the presentation of Simba and Nala's newborn cub. In, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride Zazu plays a minor role in the film, functioning mostly as a messenger. He is first seen at Kiera's presentation, signaling that everyone has gathered. He is next seen when Simba is lecturing Kiera before she goes out to play, and Zazu mentions the dangers of the outsiders, calling them backstabbing and murderous. Years later on Kiera's first solo hunt, Zazu assured a pacing Simba not to worry, that his daughter will be fine, and asked what could happen but when a wildfire starts, he is sent ahead to find her. When Zazu finds that Kiera is being rescued by Kavu, he reports the information back to Simba. After Kavu asks a skeptical Simba to join the pride, an equally skeptical Zazu notes that royal protocol demands that debts, such as the one Simba owes Kavu for rescuing Kiera, must be repaid, though Zazu would be quite happy to make an exception and even suggests that Simba should do so making it clear he didn't trust Kavu any more than Simba did. Later, after Simba returned injured from an ambush by Kavu's mother Zira and the outsiders, he is sent by Kiera to find help. Finally, near the end of the film, he appears in a panic, reporting to Simba that the outsiders are preparing to attack. In the end, Zazu is seen standing next to Taiman and Pumba at the presentation of Kiera and Kavu's wedding to which Taiman and Pumba start crying with happiness and Zazu covers himself from the wetness of their tears. In, The Lion King 1 1 half. Zazu's appearances are extremely brief in The Lion King 1 1 half. He is first seen at the presentation of Simba, talking to Mufasa. He is then seen going to rescue Simba from the hyenas with Mufasa. In the credits for this film, he is incorrectly listed as Zazu. In, Taiman and Pumbat. Zazu appears as a recurring character in the series starring Taiman and Pumbat. He, like Rafiki and the Hyenas, has also had a few standalone episodes. In Once Upon a Taiman, Zazu is researching the reasons that Taiman became an outcast. He eventually learns the reasons from Rafiki, 
and the story becomes so engrossing, that Zazu forgets about a meeting with Simba. Zazu's off day off has Zazu being forced to work on his day off when an elephant is blocking the flow of the river. Zazu's off by one day shows that Zazu is responsible for taking a census of the animals. However, he is fired by the jungle inspector when it's discovered that he missed one animal. As a result, his job is given to his gopher assistant. In an attempt to regain his job, Zazu searches for the animal he missed, only to discover that it was himself. In, The Lion Guard In the animated series, Zazu is presented as a crucial part of Simba's life as King of the Pride Lands, serving as the lion's advisor and mentor, of sorts. Though they share a healthy relationship, now that Simba is an adult, their interactions occasionally echo that displayed during Simba's childhood, with Zazu giving words of advice to the lion, only to be met with a response of childish annoyance. This is prominently displayed throughout the episode Can't Wait to Be Queen, where Simba, Nala, and Zazu travel to a funeral being held for an elderly elephant who was a good friend to Simba. Zazu, throughout the events of the episode, is shown to have become far more patient and optimistic, though still pompous and talkative, much to Nala's amusement. Simba often looks to Zazu for guidance and sees him as a confidant, which the Hornbill prides himself as. In the Savanna Summit, Zazu accompanies Simba and other leaders within the Pride Lands to a summit discussing ways of bettering the kingdom for all species. In during which, he finds himself in the middle of an issue between a rhino and a baboon, much to Rafiki's amusement. In the morning report, Scar, having returned as a fiery spirit with hopes of ruling the Pride Lands, sends his new hyena lackeys to capture and interrogate Zazu so that they may learn Simba's strengths and weaknesses. Zazu cleverly keeps from relaying any useful information long enough for the Lion Guard to rescue him. In, The Lion King, 2019 Zazu appears in the 2019 remake of the animated film voiced by John Oliver. This incarnation of Zazu has a plumage of darker feathers instead of blue feathers to make him resemble his real-life counterpart. However, he retains his whitish underparts to resemble his real-life counterpart. Zazu is first seen flying to Pride Rock where he greets Mufasa at the beginning of the film where Simba is about to be presented to the animals. After the ceremony, Zazu tells Scar that, Mufasa is coming to scold him because he is furious that Scar was not present during Simba's presentation. Scar tries to eat him, but Scar stops him as he and Mufasa argue over Scar's right in becoming the king, with Zazu becoming supportive with Mufasa. After Scar walks off, Zazu then tells a story about his cousin whom he thinks he's a woodpecker, Zazu's cousin was not mentioned in the animated version. Zazu later appears giving Mufasa and Simba a morning report. Giving the report, Mufasa teaches Simba how to pounce while Zazu flies around to know if there are news in the Pride Lands. Returning to Simba and Mufasa, Zazu gives the news that there are hyenas invading the Pride Lands. Mufasa plans to take care of the hyenas while telling Zazu to bring Simba back home. Meanwhile when Simba talks to his best friend Nala about taking her to the water hole, Surabi then asks the two cubs can only go if they bring Zazu to protect them. Zazu then takes the two cubs to the location Simba requested where he tells them that the two will be married in the future. Simba and Nala, however, are disgusted when Zazu tells the two that they will be married. Simba explains that he does not have to marry Nala, but Zazu explains that a wedding is a tradition which cannot be broken. During the musical number, I just can't wait to be king, Simba and Nala plan on losing Zazu, in which the two successfully lose him, where he is chased by weaver herds, instead of being crushed by a rhino, in the animated version. Meanwhile at the elephant graveyard, Zazu finds the cubs exploring the area Simba shouldn't go to and protects the two from Shenzi. He then gives Shenzi a warning that if she attacks Simba, it can lead to a war between Mufasa and Scar. Shenza tells her clan to attack the cubs but Mufasa arrives and saves Simba and Nala from the ambush. Soon as Mufasa takes Simba and Nala back to the Pride Lands, he tells Zazu to bring Nala back to his mother while Zazu tells Simba's father to go easy on him, reminding him what he was like as a cub. At the gorge, when Zazu sees the wildebeest stampede, 
Scar tells Zazu to alert the lions that, Simba is in danger, while he tells Mufasa to save Simba, clinging on a dead tree, in which Mufasa could not return to Pride Rock back in time, as Scar leaves Mufasa to die in the stampede. Back at Pride Rock, Zazu and Rafiki listen to Scar's plan, on becoming the new king, from a distance, instead of standing near the mourning lionesses. Listening to Scar telling them that Mufasa and Simba are both dead. Years later, after Scar becomes king, one notable difference in this film was instead of being his pet while imprisoned in a rib cage after Scar took reign, Scar banished him under penalty of being eaten by the hyenas, but he still snuck into Pride Rock to report to Surabi, who he considered the true ruler. He also helped Nala escape by distracting Scar, which did not happen in the original animated version, so that Scar wouldn't keep forcing her to hunt for more food due to Scar's plan on overhunting to destroy the Pride Lands. When Simba returns to Pride Rock, Zazu feels proud that Simba is back to his home. During the final battle against Scar, Zazu is also seen present in helping fight against the hyenas, whereas in the animated version, Zazu is still imprisoned until Pumbaa charges into the cage after the hyenas bother him. Also, in that scene, Rafiki helps save Zazu being attacked by the hyenas whereas in the animated version, it was Simba. After Scar's death, Zazu and everyone else in the Pride Lands are proud of Simba's victory against Scar. He is last seen at the end of the film where he attends the presentation of Simba and Nala's newborn cub. Other appearances, in Runaway Brain, Zazu makes two cameo appearances. In House of Mouse, Zazu appeared in Donald's Pumbaa prank as lunch for Shenzi, Bonsai and Ed and nearly eaten, and Mickey's magical Christmas, Snowden at the House of Mouse, seen perched atop Rafiki's staff. For the Walt Disney Platinum Edition DVD of The Lion King, a computer animated Zazu served as the host of Disc One's main menu. In the miniseries, It's a Small World, the animated series, Zazu makes a brief, non-speaking cameo in the episode One Golden Sun. In, musical, in the Lion King musical, Zazu is a puppet controlled by an actor dressed in blue striped clothes and a bowler hat much like a stereotypical butler. Zazu's blue feathers have been replaced with white, and the puppet is partially constructed from parachute silk with a slinky, contained in the neck for ease and movement. Zazu, like in the platinum edition of the film, sings the song The Morning Report before being pounced on by Simba. The musical version of the song is longer than its film counterpart, in the Spanish version of the musical and in recent performances starting in 2010, The Morning Report is deleted, leaving the song not included in the recently performed regional albums. In certain English productions of the show, and in the Spanish one, Zazu breaks the fourth wall. In the original Broadway production when, being blocked by curtains at the beginning of the I Just Can't Wait to Be King number, shouts out this didn't happen in the movie, or these look like shower curtains from Target. Ikea in some productions, and also, at the end of the number, the puppet is taken from his head and he cries out give me back my bird, Zazu. The Memphis tour changes the curtain reference to Graceland, the London production Ikea, and the Hawaii production Hilo Hattie. The Toronto production had him make references to Honest Ed's, the original business of the theatre's owner, Ed Mervish. Zazu also attacks his puppeteer, stating, this is your fault. In the Spanish production, he uses, this didn't happen in the movie, this is your fault, and, speaking to the conductor stop this. In, Disney Parks, Disneyland Resort, Zazu takes part of the jungle-themed unit in Mickey's Soundsational Parade. Walt Disney World At the Magic Kingdom, a former show called The Enchanted Tiki Room, under new management, starred Zazu and Yago from Aladdin, as audio animatronics. Also in the park, Zazu makes a cameo in Mickey's filler magic during Simba's I Just Can't Wait to Be King sequence. His likeness is also featured Disney's Art of Animation Resort in Walt Disney World. Disneyland Paris Zazu is featured in The Legend of the Lion King stage show in Disneyland Paris, where he reluctantly assists Timon and Pumbaa in creating a reenactment of the film in honor of Simba. He was also in Disney's Once Upon a Dream Parade, as part of the jungle-themed floats decor. 
A statue of Zazu can also be seen in the Adventureland area in the jungle section, next to a statue of Kaa. Hong Kong Disneyland, in the Hong Kong Park, Zazu is featured in the Flights of Fantasy Parade. Shanghai Disneyland, in Shanghai, Zazu appears during the performance of I Just Can't Wait to Be King in the Ignite the Dream Fireworks show. Relationships, Friends, Mufasa, Mufasa had a very good friendship with his major domo. He often turned to Zazu for advice, and tasks him with reporting the kingdom's affairs to him or watching over his son, Simba. The duo often cracked jokes with each other, usually at Scar's expense. However, Mufasa wasn't above teasing Zazu, as seen when he uses him as the target for Simba's pouncing lesson. Zazu was saddened when his liege was killed. Under the rule of the unpopular Scar, the Hornbill, demoted to being forced to sing for him, recalls how he never had to do such things for Mufasa. Simba, when Simba was a cub he didn't care about Zazu at all. He and Nala tried to get rid of him when they were going to the elephant graveyard. When he was older Zazu helped fight the hyenas so he can become king. In the Lion Guard Zazu helps Simba in any way he can. Nala, when Nala was a cub she didn't care about Zazu at all. She and Simba tried to get rid of him when they were going to the elephant graveyard. They become good friends when she's older. Rafiki, Rafiki and Zazu are good friends. Zazu and Rafiki help Simba fight Scar. Taiman and Pumbat. Zazu, Taiman, and Pumbat are good friends. They work together to help Simba fight Scar. Kayan, Zazu and Kayan are good friends. When Kayan was a cub Zazu saved him from Maku's float. Kayan even saved Zazu from Janja's clan. Bunga, Zazu and Bunga are good friends. When Bunga was a cub Zazu saved him from Maku's float. Bunga even saved Zazu from Janja's clan. Fuli. Zazu and Fuli are good friends. Zazu saves Fuli from two hyenas when she was trying to save him. Bisht, Zazu and Bisht are good friends. Bisht helped save him from Janja's clan. Ono, Zazu and Ono are good friends. Ono helped save him from Janja's clan. Acquaintances, Janja's clan, Zazu used to Janja's clan since they kidnapped him in the morning report, episode. When they reformed and joined the Pride Landers they became on good terms. Maku's float, Zazu used to hate Maku's float since they were trying to eat Kayan and Bunga. However they became on good terms throughout the years. Hadithai, Zazu and Hadithai are on good terms. Shujat, Zazu and Shujat are on good terms. Bupu, when Zazu confirms that he'll be putting the scene of Bupu getting his horns trapped in a tree, where Nuni had made his nest into his morning report, this aggravates Bupo a little. After Bupo leads his herd away, Zazu praises Kayan for his original idea before departing, reminding Bupo not to get his horns stuck again. Bupo offers the hornbill a tepid thank you for his words. Later, when Zazu goes missing, the lion guard approach Bupo and Nuni to see if they have seen him since. Bupo even claims he's out embarrassing some other animal who found himself in an unfortunate situation. Ma Tembo Zazu seems to have a good relationship with Ma Tembo. He appears to her father's funeral with the king and the queen. Mbeya, Zazu and Mbeya are allies, even though Mbeya once sat on Zazu as a protest to what he claimed he was called by the hornbill during the savannah summit. Twijia, Zazu and Twijia are on good terms. They worked together in the Savannah Summit. Kavu and Vitani, Zazu become on good terms with Kavu and Vitani. Rani, the Lion Guard Zazu and Rani are on good terms. Enemies, Scar, Zazu has been Scar's enemy since he was held prisoner to him when he took over the Pride Lands. In the morning report, Scar is aware of the knowledge that the Hornbill possesses even calling him the keeper of the Pride Lands secrets. Zira and Nuka, Zazu is enemies with Zira and Nuka since they follow Scar and attack Simba. Trivia, Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge's first Abyssinian ground horn bill chick is named after Zazu and dubbed his cousin. Zazu has shown the ability to hover in mid-air, a very difficult flying ability. The only real-life birds capable of this are the hummingbird and certain birds of prey like the kestrel, 
the latter doing so to pinpoint prey, birds of prey also cannot do so indefinitely. Zazu is voiced by Rowan Atkinson, an already well-established British actor and comedian, in The Lion King. Whilst admonishing Scar for not attending Simba's presentation ceremony, Zazu states that the king is as mad a hippo with a hernia. This is a possible nod to Black Adder, a long-running British historical comedy series in which Atkinson played the leading role, and who has a strong tendency to use simile in this manner when being sarcastic. However, it is unlikely that many younger viewers, especially outside the UK, would realize this. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check all of the other videos I have made about The Lion King. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button below and don't forget to share this video with your friends.